becomes uh, when you are working with a service based company it becomes hard to uh, break that foundation and uh, to crack the interview for the product based companies so how did you uh, able to manage that um so once you i mean it's all about learning skills even if you are at service based companies if you get to learn some good skills and uh, if you are good with all the programming and what you lead code or what you want to call it so all all that is required in the product uh, company product interviews and you have a referral so i went through a referral again i had a good contact with the product based at veritas he basically referred me and that's how i got the interview call and uh, again like uh, i had to work for the interview as well so once you do all this i think it's fairly easy to switch to product company it's not i won't say that's a very big of a challenge so yeah that should be straightforward if you have good skills then it won't be a big problem uh, to switching yeah, yeah. from service based yeah. company to product based company okay. especially if you do it at the early stage in the career that's what i would say i mean once you have like 10 plus years in the service based companies then people are going to look at you okay i mean then it's going to they are going to say that he doesn't uh, have the understanding of product right. but for a fresher for up to 3 or 5 years it is okay it doesn't really okay. matter okay so someone who who wants to switch from service based to company a service based to product based company they should uh, do it in the early stage of their career itself yes, yes. okay right so uh, see uh, ketan uh, so how someone can make connections with the product based companies like suppose uh, if i am working with a service based company my connections my uh, colleagues will be from the service based company only so how can i find a referral from a product based companies so typically how the networking <clears throat> builds is uh, let's say you work for work at a service based company you have some colleagues you have good relation with them and they somehow manage to go to product companies then they they can pull you in so yeah. typically that's how it happens or even during let's say your internship or uh, you you got a internship in the product company there you would have some contacts then either at the same company or the same people that you worked with they moved to some other product company but yeah that's how you build the networks and uh, through this networking you get into that and usually it's like i mean the more number of years you spend in the industry the network goes on growing so it becomes fairly easier later yeah yeah right right 